in the dream. You are falling, lost in the listening distance, as dark locks in. <laughs> Nightfall. Good evening. Tonight you're all invited to join a special club. But perhaps we'd better warn you that you may feel inclined to terminate your membership at any time. The play, a first for this medium by award-winning novelist Tim Wynne-Jones, is called The Thinking Room. You try that again and I'll knock the living bejesus out of you. What's got into you, you ungrateful punk? You ought to be glad to be alive, you hear me? Quit daydreaming, stink. Stink? Stink! Not again. This time. This time. For You're going to wait for the next one. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? You some kind of social worker? I ended up to here with social workers. No. You're a cop, right? I heard they got cops to dress up like rubbies. Old clothes men. <laughs> you don't fool me. Hold on now, hold on. You were going to kill yourself, weren't you? What's it to you? Let's just say... I'm concerned about suicide. Oh, I get it. You're some kind of preacher. Next you're going to tell me, I know how you feel. Well, you don't, see? Oh, well, I suppose you could say I'm something of an evangelist. Yes, but not quite what you expect. In fact, I was on my way to a meeting. Care to come? What kind of meeting? It stops. We better have it. Who says I'm interested? Well, what kind of meeting? Hey, where are you going? Across town. You're going to lecture me. Tell me I should be glad to be alive, that kind of junk? Well, you can forget it. Hey, why should I follow you anyway? Give me one good reason. You're a failure. You've got nothing to lose. Hey, wait up. Have you tried before? What? Oh, you mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't even bring yourself to say it, can you? Well, I'll do it all right. Once I almost jumped off the school gym. The rope. Another time I almost done it with a razor. One of these days. Sleeping I... pills are less painful from what I hear. Huh? Oh. Sleeping pills are for girls. What's your name? Stuart. But everybody calls me Stink. I'm Drum. That's what everyone calls me. Drum.
Go ahead. Do it. See if I care. Why? <laughs> what was that? Nothing. I just hear things in my head. That's all. There ain't no meaning. You're gonna kill me. You're gonna lose me down here. I don't even know where I am anymore. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I've taken you in a huge circle. We're still in the heart of town, only deep in its heart. You'll find your way out all right. And I dare say you'll find your own way back the next time. Who says there'll be a next time? Shh, listen. We're here. Wherever we are. Hey, Drum. We were beginning to wonder. Ah, see, a new recruit. Hello, Charlie. Stink, this is Charlie. Charlie Dresser. Charlie, Stink. Uh, welcome, Stink. Hi. I'm going to dip that word enough. He decided that... Uh, he Louise, was... look what Drum dragged in. Ah, just kidding, Stink. <laughs> uh, stink, this is Louise Cavs. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. Well, I'd better get things underway, Charlie. Uh, perhaps you could just... Uh, sure thing. Leave them to us. Stop daydreaming, Stink. Well. Nervous? I was my first time. Yeah, I guess. I never seen Isn't any... it heavenly? Oh, look at those chandeliers. Yeah. Years and years ago, it was the most prestigious theater in town. Pavlova danced the dying swan, and Melba sang Butterfly, and Ellen Terry. She stood right up there, center stage, where the podium is at Lady Macbeth. It's been forgotten for years now, boarded up. It's perfect for us. Look at those curtains, Stink. They're velvet. Jeez. The drum's making his way up to the stage. Hey, you need a drink. Boy, over here. It's just for the toast, eh? The real food comes later. The toast? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, a thing we always... Oh, thanks for the drink. We'll begin the meeting in the usual way. The toast. The toast! Good, isn't it? Well, I see some new faces... And a lot of old faces. Welcome, one and all, to the Suicide Club. What? Our seminar topics for this evening have been posted in the usual place. And since there are no reports to be made at this time, I suggest we retire to the more convivial surroundings of the North Lounge. The fire is lit there and a table laid. There's something there for everyone. Still no result from the committee. Oh, now, don't you start to fret. What committee? I knew this would happen. Jesus. They can't possibly get Christmas Eve now. It's too late. Charlie, you're not making much of an impression. What's going on? Oh, you don't mind Charlie. He's high on commitment, but low on patience. Oh, give me a break. Hey, what about you, kid? When you made up your mind you want to go, you want to go, right? Well, sort of. Uh, yeah. Uh, not quite sure, huh? Like Louise here. Well, you've come to the right place. It's convinced me some of the seminars are great and the food is out of this world. Oh, what's a seminar? Funny little black sausages. Mm. Mm. I've never seen so much food. Mm. Oh, wow. Caviar <laughs> with a taste of lemon. <laughs> Try some. Mm. Thanks. What's the seminar? Mm. Well, um, well, just take a look around you. Mm. Everybody's got their problems, their doubts, even me. I'm a pragmatic kind of guy. I want to make sure the family's going to be okay after I'm gone. Now, Drum brought in this insurance specialist who's got all the answers, you see? It's such a big step. I find that I absolutely need the lectures. Tonight, Dr. Cogliostro is continuing his series on famous suicides. He's so inspiring. Oh, they got everything oh. stink. Sing songs, you name it. 
going down to the muddy river just to throw my body in. <laughs> you know, that, that kind of stuff. Get you thinking in the right way. Are you from a religious background? Well, uh... well, we have a defrocked priest here who can justify the ultimate sacrifice, as he calls it, using proof from the Bible itself. Hmm. I, I still don't, don't... And it's damn convincing, too. Hey, listen to that. Love those sing-songs. Catch you later. Bye. Whoops. <laughs> I better run. Toodle-oo. If I don't see you later, I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yes, sure. Something for everyone, eh, Stink? <laughs> oh. Hi, Mr. Drum. <laughs> you enjoying yourself? I'm a little confused. But the food is, is great. It ain't poison, is it? <laughs> stink, stink. You've got to trust us, of all people. Why? What's going on? You haven't guessed. You call it the suicide club? Everybody looks like they're having an okay time to me. I, I can't figure it out. Seminars, sing songs, a toast to no one. Who are we toasting? Come with me. I think I know what you need, most of all. They buried him in the garden just behind the seal house. They buried him in the garden just behind the seal house. They buried him in the garden just behind the seal house. Now he ain't gonna jump no more. You need to be alone to think things out. That's just it, you see. I got these, these voices. voices. Yes, I remember. They're with me all the time. Sometimes they scream at me. I can't think so good. Well, here we are. What do you think? What's to think? Don't look like much. <laughs> nice carpets. You gonna lock me in? <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Drum. Here, test the door. What is this place? I call it... The frontistry. What? The frontistry. But you may call it simply the thinking room. Hmm. Whatever you call it. It's always the same. The thinking room. What do I do? There's just this little desk and one chair. There's nothing to... Mr. Drum? He's gone. Jeez, I don't believe it. Mister? No, oh, he's gone. The voices. They're gone, too. Oh, wow. The thinking room. So what have I got to think about? Suicide. That's what it's all about, isn't it? That's what they're up to. Every one of them? What do you think? Every one of them. That's what I think. They're afraid. Just like you. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I can hear myself think. again. Just like Drum said I would. And just in time. Now we'll begin the meeting in the usual way. The toast. The toast. <laughs> now, as some of you might have heard, the committee has come to a decision at last. They have decided unanimously on Valentine's Day. Oh, yes. I realize that some of you are hanging by a thread. The holiday season will be hard for you, but you must hold on if we're to make this work. Please, talk with me or one of the counselors. We're here to help in whatever way we can. 
Those of you who are still undecided, now is the time to get down to it. You might say that we have a deadline. Oh. There are arrangements to be made and a lot to discuss, so I won't hold you up. Meeting adjourned. Always full of fancy ideas, Angie. You ain't nothing special. Nothing. Get back here. Lousy brat. Excuse me. Thanks. Steve? What? So you made it through the week. Hi, stranger. Hey, are you all right? It's nothing. I was a bad shape. What's with him? I don't know. Look at his face. He's in agony. Stink! Stinky! Come on, help me with him, Charlie. Louise. Okay. He hears voices. We've got to get him to the thinking room. He'll be all right. Here. Let's leave him alone. That's it. That's it. This is what he needs. Figure it out. Figure it out. Out. Yes. Figure it all out. You can't go on like this, can you? Thank you. I hear these, these voices. voices. Yes, I know. I didn't mean to barge in on your thoughts. That's okay. This room, it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when people say they can hear themselves think, well, in here it's true. It's delicious, isn't it? I've been sorting a whole lot out. Yeah? Like, everyone here is going to kill themselves, aren't they? Mm -hmm. All at the same time. On Valentine's Day. Right. Isn't it amazing? It's such a statement. And it will be beautifully orchestrated. Mark my words. Drum will see to that. The whole city just stopped in its tracks. It gives me goosebumps just to think about it. Aren't you scared? Oh, I'm scared, but I'll be ready. Professor Cagliostro talked about Virginia Woolf tonight. Did you know she just filled her dress with rocks and just walked into the sea? No. Isn't that enchanting? Or was it a river? And Charlie, he's afraid he won't make it through Christmas. Oh, that's right. He has a family. What with in-laws and all. But we're sort of outlaws, aren't we? Maybe it was a lake. I can't remember. He'll make it through, though. Charlie, I mean. Oh, oh of course he will. Drum will pull him through. We'll all go together. Doesn't that make you feel good? On Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Why don't you come home anymore? Get back here, you ingrate. And now, the toast. Yeah. Well, what's the time? Oh! What do you think? What up, Bobby? What are you up to? You wasn't born yesterday, you know? I'm in like this before. No, I'm not kidding. What are you? Masada. Oh, honey. Leave this guy stuck in this package, dude. It's great. God, I wish it was better. You go to hell for all I care. Look, you're going to do nothing. You're going to get out of this room right now. You know what's good for you. You're going to get out of here right now. But you can call it the thinking room. The thinking. Figure it all out. You can't go on like this, can you? Whatever you call it, it's always the same. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Charlie. Congratulations to us all. Here, here. Hey, here, here. You know, if it hadn't been for a drum, I... Oh, I hear my name being taken in vain. Oh. <laughs> so we made it. Oh, I never thought I'd do it. The festive season, huh? All that goodwill just about drove me nuts. Then again, sometimes it just made me laugh. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, the irony of it. The worst was not having no meeting on Christmas. Oh, it was ghastly. I thought I'd die. I'm so proud of all of you. You know, the delay was kind of good. That consultant really helped me get my business matters straightened out. I didn't want to leave a mess behind. You know what I mean. Oh, but just think of it. A jumper at every station. Isn't that too much? Oh, oh it's so important to make a good end. Oh, I'm going to miss it, you know. The club, I mean. I've never been one who could share things with other people. Camaraderie, that's what it is. The feeling of all being in it together. Uh, the last meeting. You know, I may be a sentimental old jerk, but I think everyone should join in the sing-song tonight. Mm. Yes, I'm going to suggest it to some of the others. One week to go. One week till what, Stink? Till we all commit suicide. Simul... Spontaneously. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> the voices have been hard on you, haven't they, Stink? Oh, it's like they know. Oh, I'm going like Virginia Woolf. Thanks, Drum, for getting me the ferry. I'll jump in the middle of the harbor, and I know as I go overboard that all the others are going too. It'll make a lot of people stop and think. All over the city. Everything stopped. I realize that each of us will be lost in the massiveness of it all. Ah, but your loss will be magnified by it. Oh, look. All the seminars are winding down. Charlie's got everyone to join in the sing song. Coming, Charlie. Oh, I feel so close to everyone tonight. Goodbye, Louise. I don't think I'll be joining the others. Oh, I know where you're off to. No, that's not right. Break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to Charlie. She's been nice to me. Everyone has. You never knew anyone who I liked. I've always hated living till I came here. But I can never bring myself to end it all, you know? Well, you're one of us, Stink. You won't let us down, will you? I mean, we're counting on you. Oh, no, sir. What assignment have you got for me? We are going to immobilize the whole freaking subway system, Stink. <laughs> A jumper at every station. Yeah, I heard. At rush hour. The city will be clogged with lovers rushing home with chocolates and flowers. Oh, what a day to remember. Amongst the membership, the subway stations are a prize, you know. It took a bit of finagling on my part, but I managed to convince the committee to give you... The station where we first met. Well, that's... That's great. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Drum. You know, I couldn't have done it without you. I always wanted to, but at the last minute, the voices always called me back. It was the thinking room that changed things around. Hearing myself think was the answer. Mr. Drum? Oh. Well, you be. Don't you got no respect no more? That's no use. He's beyond help. Little room with gray furniture and walls as white as bone, rugs as red as blood. Thanks. Say goodbye. You know what you've got to do. Goodbye, Stink. Goodbye.
Charlie, hi. How are you doing? Huh? Oh, fine, Louise. Actually, I was thinking about that kid. Uh, what's his name? Stink. Uh, yeah, that's it. Nice kid. Charlie, Louise, how are you? Hi, Drum. We were just talking about Stink. You know, it always amazes me how much it takes to get them to actually go through with it. Yeah, well, a nudge in the right direction. That's what we're here for. Well, I better get the show on the road. Well, I see some new faces here. And a lot of old faces. So, let's begin the meeting in the usual way. The toast. The toast! 